So our health tip of the day is about something called sugar, primarily white sugar, which of course is what everybody knows as normal sugar. In fact, raw sugar is considered to some people strange. White sugar uh, was developed around 230, 240 years ago for the aristocracy, the kings and queens and the people with a lot of money. Very refined um, and therefore, of course, is why it's white. Uh, and we know that all of the refined foods uh, that are not as good for us are frequently white. So white sugar is pure sucrose and that is a type of sugar that is very, very hard on humans. And interestingly enough, since the introduction of white sugar, we have had a steady increase in diabetes. And right now on this planet, we are getting somewhere in the vicinity of 300 million new cases per year of diabetes, which is absolutely epidemic proportions. There aren't even 300 million people in the United States and that many people every year are getting diabetes. So white sugar is not something that I personally even have in my house. I don't even have it for a company who might want it when they come over. I will not use white sugar in any form and I will not eat foods that contain white sugar. It's extremely hard on the body's ability to balance sugar. It's hard on the liver the pancreas, the adrenals, all the organs that are necessary for balancing blood sugar. And when you throw the blood sugar up too high with eating a lot of white sugar, you have a reaction by the body to bring that sugar level down, which is the, what the body needs to do. But continued repetition of that, that traumatic cycle of high sugar and the body forcing it to come down eventually leads to overstress on the pancreas and the other sugar balancing systems which can lead to diabetes. And the other condition that you may have heard about, low blood sugar, otherwise known as hypoglycemia, which is something that occurs before you get diabetes, is just as bad because some people, when their blood sugar goes low, they can go so far as to even pass out. So most people simply feel irritable, tired, cranky, headachey, lightheaded, that sort of thing. But some people actually go to the point where they actually pass out. A lot of people actually get headaches as well. And low blood sugar is inevitably caused by abuse of white sugar in the earlier years, causing that low blood sugar pattern. So the bottom line for white sugar is better off without it, better off with natural sweeteners, and in many cases with no sweeteners at all, as let's face it, na uh, naturally in food there is no sweetener, there is only the natural sugar that occurs. The other nasty thing about sugar is something you will see on many, many labels, and I highly recommend you start reading labels and find out what's actually in the foods that you eat. It's, it's a bit sobering. This thing that's on the label so many times as a sweetener is called high fructose corn syrup, and it has been used extensively over the last 20 to 25 years as a sweetener. Unfortunately, it is causing huge amounts of dysfunction and disease, and that is now well documented. High fructose corn syrup is a sweetener our bodies have not got any ability to use properly. In a deep, it disbalances, imbalances the blood sugars and is extremely hard for our bodies to handle. So high fructose corn syrup is absolutely forbidden as far as a healthy food.